We love you. Bless you good. Come on down. Amen. We're going to shut this one off, so turn your mind. of the Lord this morning. You know, the song says, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Praise God. Amen. And we are thankful today because we know in whom we believe, in whom we trust. And we know today that He that we are serving a non-changing God, that, uh, right. that the God that the, uh, the people served many uh, years ago is still the same as He was then. He said, I am the same yesterday, today, and, today forever. and forever. Praise God. And yeah. I thank Him for that tonight, or this morning, if you will. And I would like to speak to you for just a few moments of, uh, concerning the fourth man. We can find this, and I'm not going to read the whole chapter, but uh, you can find uh, all about the fourth man in Daniel uh, 3, if you will. You see, at this time in history, Nebuchadnezzar was uh, the proudest king that ever sat on a throne. His armies had just conquered the world. And at that time, the three Hebrew children were captured. Not for long, but they were captured and brought to Babylon. He was ruler of the world. And the three Hebrew children was or were about to be tried. Saints, I would like to tell you this morning that true religion is being tried. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Religion will be tried. When we begin to get close to God, we begin to pray and seek God's face and, and do uh, uh, His uh, what He has told us to do and has commanded us to do. Uh, look out because something is going to happen. But I think be to God. He told Peter, He said, uh, Jesus told Peter, said, Peter, upon this rock uh, I will build my church uh, and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Hallelujah. So you see, true religion will be tried. All we've got to do is hold unto God's unchanging hand. Hold unto Him. Put our hand in the nail-card hand of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. These three men came face to face with an inescapable fact. True religion will be tried. When we live for God, you will be tried. That's right. You see, there's one thing about them. They stood their ground. Amen. Hallelujah. And say, when we stand our ground, Concerning the things of God, we will come out victorious over all. Why? He said, greater is He that is in me than He that is in the world. Right. Hallelujah. So true religion is going to be tried. When they stood the ground, we find they did not burn. Amen. Come on now. Hallelujah. Come on. And when we stand our ground today, 
when we stand before the judgment throne of God, we will not burn. Amen. Hallelujah. But we'll come out victorious Amen. over all the demon forces of hell. That's right. Why? Because, as I've already said, greater is he that is in me. Greater is he that is in you. We need to reach out as the song says and touch the Lord as he goes by. Right. Verse 17. You see, we find that God was able. <laughs> Hear me. God was able. Amen. Hallelujah. Without any hesitation, without any flicker of an eyelash, they said, Our God, in whom we serve, is able to deliver us. Right. Come on. Brothers and sisters, this morning, when things begin to come our way, and we don't know which way to turn, stand, hallelujah, and look up, and begin to pray and seek God's face. And I want you to know, He will lead you. I'm victorious. I pray to be to God. He will lead you. He will guide you. Amen. Come on. And we Come will. On. Come out victorious. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Amen. He is able. Thank God. Our God is able. Let the angels shout it with all his glory. Our God is able. Let the sick shout, our God is able. Amen. Let the devil roar Come on. in all his glory, our God is able. Let the host of hell, of hell, our God is able. Let the kings of the earth tremble. Our God is able. Amen. The three Hebrew children knew God was able. The record of their God is and was He. Is able. Right. You see the prophets, they declared it. The psalmist, they sang it. The children of Israel danced it on the sands of the Red Sea and shouted that he was able. The king looked or let me rephrase that the king locked them within the walls of battle. But you know what? Think about this. Even though they were walked within the law of battle, they could not lock their God out. He could not separate them from their God. True. Hear me. They could not be separated. Why? Because they had 